Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Crony and many thanks to all the patrons at patreon.com slash Stephen Crony. Your support is always very much appreciated. Today I've got a simple little seascape for you. So let me show you the colours I've used. Now for this one it was ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard crimson and raw sienna. I didn't use the other colours. And um, brushes, most of it done with a large Ron Ranson hake. And then I think the only other brush I used was a, a number three rigger brush. Right then, so I've got my new brush now, new large Ron Ranson 8 brush, so no excuses now. So I'm just wetting it all over, this is just clean water. And then I'm going to start off with the light colour, so a bit of raw sienna. Just pop a bit of that in there. Um, just, just whack that in. Taking a little bit of, actually, let's clean the brush first before I take any yellow. Bit of lemon yellow. Just going to pop some of that in there. And fix some of that down below. Right, let's clean the brush again. And this time I'm going to take a bit of blue, I think. So a bit of ultramarine. I'm going to brush this in. I want some reflected in the water below as well, so I'm popping that in down below. I really try not to over mix everything, which is what I do all the time. I'm trying to keep it as clean as I can. Now this time, clean the brush. I'm going to go a bit of alizarin crimson, a bit of Payne's grey, just make some nice little clouds. Um, so just something like that. I don't have to be too barmy. And then what I'm going to do is just take a bit of all those colours and sort of leaning towards blue. I'm going to put in the distant mountains. Um, just, just a simple little mix of everything I've used so far. And those distant mountains are going to be Somewhere somewhere like that. Just level that bottom bit off. I want that parallel to the bottom of the paper there. I want it straight. It's not really leaning one way or the other. And then if we just do little dibs and dabs here, it just looks like little bits of land just sticking out in the distance. Um I'm just going to do that at the same time, I think. Just give the impression of little bits of land coming towards us, or it's like little ripples on the water, whatever you want it to be. Um, now, I'm not, I haven't cleaned the brush, but I'm going into the same colours again. This time it's a stronger mix. So, no more um, paints, water, sorry, but more paints. Now this time I'm coming down from the left and I'm popping in this bit of land there. Again, just use a nice sharp, nice sharp edge. The joys of having a new brush, I've got this nice sharp edge now I can play with. I'm just going to, get, I'm just going to bring that down, little dabs here and there, it just looks like little things just happening in the distance. It looks like detail, I don't know what they are, it's like, see when it's breaking here, these little white bits, that could be like little buildings or anything in the distance. 
Now, I'm going to do the same on the other side. So, into these same colours. And this time I'm coming down, and it's going to be slightly closer as well, so I'm coming slightly lower. So I'm coming down, something like that. Few little dibs and dabs in front, give the impression of something going on there. All these little unpainted broken bits. And then coming further forward, just dipping the tips. And I want it to be quite dark now, coming forward. But again, mixing it all up. A bit of Payne's grey in there, a bit of ultramarine. details and I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. Okay, what I might do first is make sure that's flat. Get that flat against the board. I might just brush in some water actually. And also I don't know I might put another like a if I give that a quick dry first. Do is just re wet that sky area and just put it more bluey. If I just re wet it, make it a bit more stronger blue coming down. And also, too strong that was. And then what I might do with those same colours now. Actually if I just bring that down a little bit more. Actually make that look like some distant mountains actually. It's also probably a little bit more there as well. I'm just going to do a quick sweep. Let's give that a quick draw.
actually sort of drying it, re-wetting it, and then adding other layers. It just adds that extra bit of interest here and there. Now, I could wet it again and, and, and do it again. I'll have to see how it goes. See how the rest of the painting turns out first. But for now... Just an impression of something just down, down there. That's what I'm going to do. I might, if I switch to the, I'll just switch to the rigger brush. patterns I mean that's the sort of basic composition. Now I just want to just spice it up a little bit. So if I just wet that sky area, just give it a quick spray, and then a bit of a lizarding. I'll have to spray this again just to soften it up. I think. Bit too light, and then just sort of follow that where that goes. Just follow the paint. Same on this side. Now if I just clean the brush, and I've just got a clean brush, I'm just softening off the bottom now just to blend it all in, see how it's just softening off, no hard edges, I can just play around with that, just makes the clouds a little bit more interesting I think, and also I need these land masses to be a little bit darker. darker, give them a bit more punch. Also a little bit stronger on this side.
using clean brush again clean just a clean damp brush I'm just going to pull some of this colour and just blend some of it in do is I'm just going to use this little egg brush and I want that waterline at the top, I want that horizon waterline nice and straight. Actually no, I can just use them the big egg brush. So just nice clean sharp edge and now I can just pull just pull across like that just to get a nice a quick dab and then on there what I can do then is if I take take the rigger brush and I can put the impression some little boats so the boats so if we have say one and all I'm doing is using a clean damp brush and I'm just going to remove some paint that's all it's like a triangle shape I'll just give the impression of like a little yacht in the distance. Oh, a little bit bigger. I'll put the bottom on it in a minute. Um, stick another. Another one next to it. This one's a little bit smaller, it's further away. Give that a dab. And then, they always look good in threes, I think. And put another one just to the right. Again, I'm trying to do them small because you can always make them bigger. But once you've made them big, you can't really make them smaller again. So, we'll always try and do them small first, and then you can always adjust it. Um, I'm just wondering if they need, I don't, well, I don't know. Can I just put like a hint of some sort of, yeah, so. I don't think that, I think that's, I don't think that's really achieved anything. So we've got three little yachts there on the horizon line, just gives the gives it a sense of scale and a bit more depth to it. Um, I could just darken these a little bit, I suppose. Let's just darken them. A 
and then I'm just going to finish it off. Just stick my name in a corner, I'm going to call this one finished, I think. Just sign this one down here. Right, and let's stick. Let's stick a mount on that and see what it looks like. So here's our finished painting the mount. If we go have a closer look at it. You can see the sky area. We've got sort of the lights of the yellow in the background and then a bit of uh, raw sienna. And um, the clouds have got a lizard in crimson. Could have done them a little bit stronger actually. Um, I think I've softened them off a bit too much. Use that same cloud colour to pop in these distant this distant landmass just so it sort of pushes it right back into the into the distance just to try and create that sense of depth and you can see coming forward stronger stronger tones on the right here same on the left hand side coming right through into the foreground you can see all just sort of random rigger work as well just to add a little bit of interest a few fence uh, posts as well there going into this foreground sea area this sort of shoreline here and then just a simple little way of painting boats just by taking off the paint and just creating that little triangular shape which gives the impression of little yachts there in the distance that was after I'd used a clean damp brush just to take out that water line there along the horizon line so that's it for this one, I hope you enjoyed that thanks as always for watching um, many thanks as always to patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin I would be more than appreciative if you could join me over there become a member um, help help uh, pay for all these videos and the time and everything um, but until next time keep practicing if you've got any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon